Hey, what's up, daywalkers and fellow travelers of the night? We are back again with another unboxing. I just figured, you know what? I had the lights set up. I have everything else going on. If I just record this now, I can just spend the next few days editing all these and getting them posted on time for once. So I said, screw it. We'll just go ahead and open my last box. Uh, like I said, we have two more coming in from Steel City that they already opened for us. So we'll take those when they come in, probably tomorrow or the next day they'll show up. And then we'll take the ones we've opened so far and then go through and do a full inventory. And then so in the next episodes, the next time we do collabs with other people, we'll talk some more. And I don't know for sure we have three boxes we're saving for collabs, but I might only end up using two for the collabs. So we'll see. Uh, I you know plans change sometimes. So we'll figure that out. And if I have an extra box, we'll definitely bring it back here and do one more of these. But for now, at least for the solo ones on this channel, this is our last run. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and dive into this new sealed box here. And again, thank you to Steel City, who were kind enough to, um, you know, take multiple orders of ours, uh, some from me, some from our mom, some from Blue, and uh, and even one from Purple, and combine them all and uh, and get them all here to us. Uh, so very awesome of them, very professional crew that they have over there who do their own unboxing and uh, box break videos on YouTube. So I'll be sure to put links to their store and their YouTube channel down below so you can watch and check them out. And like I did say on the previous video, I will do a product review so we can talk about all these cool details that they put into this card series because I think they did a phenomenal job. So let's go ahead and get these out and put them up here so you can still kind of see them in the top there. And then this time we're going to go left to right. This is a box for me. So hopefully we land something really cool. Although in my previous box, I got an autograph, which was awesome. So uh, so yeah, if you want to check out that video, please do. I landed a really good find. And then in the previous video, I also talked about this sheet here. This is made of papyrus. It's from Egypt. And again, I'll put a link to the two ladies who you know brought this over from Egypt and they have their own business where they bring this over. They were selling these at Megacon and they were beautiful. And I was like, I have to have one to you know do an unboxing on and uh and so this is just our backdrop for now but we're going to be trading this one the book of the dead mat that we got here on papyrus we're going to trade this for a double conchi one so when that comes in i will definitely make a video and show that off and plug the you know that business once again so all that said i talked really long in the intro for the last video <laughs> so i hit the three minute marker let's dive in to the packs now sorry i just want to adjust the camera make sure the cards were you know, being seen really well, because these are beautiful cards. So we got Layla there. Oh, another Layla. Oh, are we going to have a Layla box? Because we had an Ethan box in the last one. So, all right. Then we got Mr. Knight in Sand Parallel from the second episode, I believe. Uh, great, another great shot of Layla, May, who plays her. Tao Wet It with the boys. We're going to start seeing a lot of duplicates, obviously, because in the base cards, because of uh, you know we're on our fifth or sixth box now, so uh, so we'll try to speed through more of these. Whoa, an Egyptian superhero with Layla. Now this one I don't think I've seen from us before. So card number eleven, our lucky number. How amazing. Um, so yeah, we you know what I'm gonna go ahead and bag this because I love the look of that and I thought that was a cool scene. I know some people get they cringe out. I you know at times when people you know hit the nail on the head when they when they're you know talking about a form of representation but in that scene I, it didn't bother me because it was a kid you know a kid was like oh my god are you, are you an egyptian superhero you know I, I was like yeah it's fine it was a kid asking um feels like a very kid question <laughs> you know so to me it didn't seem like uh like it didn't stand out in a negative way to me but that shot and her in the costume she looks amazing in that costume uh and she kicks a lot of butt and that with uh steven and mark in that last episode all right so Let's keep it going. Let's keep going. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Something big is here. I can feel it. It weighs. And look, it's, look, there's not a card there. It's, what is that? Oh my God. There's only, okay, 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 okay. All right. Uh, let's start at the back. We have Conchu. Conchu Sand Parallel. So we're missing two cards. I think from this pack, um, which is probably going to be okay because when we see what this is, um, holy cow, here we go. Whoa, dude, balance the scales. What? Wow. This thing, it's like metal. That's awesome. 
And it's got Layla and Oscar. Oh my God, that's fantastic. That's amazing. I mean, we haven't gotten any of these. BS17, that's a, that's awesome. Um, We haven't gotten any of these in the other packs, but yeah, it's a metal. I think it's metal. I'm not going to try to bend it. No, it feels metal. Yeah, actually, it has weight to it. That is beautiful. I'll put the rarity of like how many packs up on screen there, but holy cow, that's, and two great characters. I mean, getting Moon Knight and Layla on there. Wow. Okay. So I think I can do that. I don't know if this will fit in this top loader. I don't think so. Uh, we'll try it here. No way. No way. So I'm going to have to get something else to preserve this. But look at that. Wow. Balance the scale. What a great pool. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to tuck that to the side there. Yeah. So look, as you can see, we only got three cards in the set along with that. Probably the mask, the, you know, the feel of it. If someone was like feeling packs, it felt like six regular cards, but it had weight to it. So yeah, if you're, if you see open box of these and you want to grab packs, you'll be able to find that, uh, what pack that one's in. It, uh, it reminds me of 30 Rock when they did that show that Kenneth came up with called Gold Case. And you could tell who was holding the case with gold because of the weight of the, the case they were holding. So, yeah, that's uh, that's awesome, though. But, um, yeah, I don't know why I thought of that. So, okay. All right, moving on. We got. I, I don't want to slow things down too much. Oh, wait. Okay, this is in the second spot again. Okay, so I think I know why. I think we got another blue. Um, awesome. So, boom. Great. The Battle of the Gods. What the Fish. With Gus. Oh, we got a chamber of the god. Oh, that's a nice one. Give me the body mark. Cool. I'll put that off to the side. And our blue parallel with Antonia. Nice. I'd be really happy if we got some of the main characters. Oh, look at that. Yeah, 30 of 199. If we got like, you know, Antonia, Layla, you know, Mark or Steven, Ethan. I think we got one already of Ethan. Um, if we got just some of the main characters all in blue variants even if they're sky blue i know there's the midnight blue one that uh that are more limited but if we got just a cool set of just each main character i would be so into that <laughs> that'd be so cool um because obviously i don't need a whole base set in blue um but that'd be if i got if we end up getting all the characters between blue and eyes boxes then th then maybe we won't trade them off maybe we'll keep them uh just to have like a nice actor set okay so here we go tell what it I like looking at the cards from the side just to see if we have a chance at something. Um, obviously, we've got Antonia there. We have Ethan back here with one of his guards. Conchu. Layla and Sand. And Conchu as a Fist of Vengeance. Very cool. That shot's on a, a base card, too. Um, so I wish they found a, a slightly different one, different angle. Uh, but, uh, but I don't know, it may not be a, it may be a couple frames later. So, you know, I may be talking out of my butt on that one. <laughs> I mean, I may be wrong, but it looks very similar to another card. Okay. So turning the night, which I think this one's also used in one of the other cards as well. Uh, we have Ethan, Sand of Mark Spectre. Cool. Layla from episode five in the psych ward. And then Layla on the roof. Oh, okay. Awesome. When she's hiding from the fake police that show up or the real police that just work for Arthur Harrow. Uh, and then boom. Oh, hey, cool. We got that as a base card. Uh, or, you know, it's like the, the regular version, not the sand parallel. So fantastic. I'm still going to put that off to the side because Layla is amazing. I like that character. She's uh, she's new. She's created for the show. And I thought they did a great job with, with her and the show. I know some people are like, why didn't you just make that Marlene? But feel like her journey is similar and different to Marlene's. Um, so there's some things that are unique to, to Marlene that get put into Layla's story. But then there's also different angles of Layla's story that weren't part of Marlene. So I'm okay with it. It works uh, for me at least. Uh, okay. So we got our six cards it looks like. We have from the final battle, Mr. Knight. We got Amit and her avatar. Chamber of the Gods and Sand. Layla. Amit as an ensemble. And another Fist of Vengeance, uh, you will be destroyed. Amit versus Kanchu. Oh, cool. 
All right. See, I knew I would gain speed eventually. <laughs> but at this point, we've opened so many that the base cards, you know, we can skip right through them. Unless, you know, I feel like repeating a story that I've already told. Uh, I do that sometimes. Um, all right. Awesome. So we got Layla there. Another Layla. Perfect. Like I said, this feels like a Layla box almost, which is okay by me. So I got Ethan behind the scenes. Conchu and Tao Wedit and Sand Parallel. And hey, another awesome Layla shot of may as a fist of vengeance so we're gonna put that over there all right two more no three more packs in the middle so let's keep it going keep it going keep it going keep it going full steam uh i do notice i sing a lot uh, okay so there's the shot let's compare it actually real quick i know i said no i won't go for a long time so yeah that looks like the same exact image just cropped differently um but it looks the exact same because I was thinking, oh, maybe he's stepping with the right foot on one and left foot on the other one or something. Something that subtle. So it's not the same exact image, but it's all right. It's, it's you know, those are extensions of the set, the Fist of Vengeances. So it's all right that they're reusing an image. But I, I think there's so many cool shots of Conchu in the show. I probably, me personally, would have went and dug for a different image to use on the Fist of Vengeance card. Um, but okay, so we got Layla there. Sand Parallel of the Museum. Amit. Tawet it. And boom! Crowley, Traveler of the Night. Awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, I have a couple theories of Crowley. I'll get into that in my um, episode breakdowns when I talk about them. Because uh, there's a moment in episode five where Mark references Crowley by name, showing that he knows who Crowley is, which is more of a Stephen thing. Stephen was the one who talked to Crowley. So have a couple theories there. So we'll, we'll get into that in that episode so that I don't keep you here all day talking about the show <laughs> and not opening any cards. So, but I'm very, that's very cool. Uh, that's also a shot using a different card as well, but you know, these are all insert cards. So there's not a chance you would probably get both cards uh, unless you bought a lot of boxes like, like we did. So, um, so yeah, so that's okay. Uh, that, that gets a pass in my opinion. Um, so, all right, two more packs left in the middle. Let's keep it going. We got the chamber. We got Conchu's tomb. Ethan as sand. May in a purple lighting. Looks fantastic. Arthur Harrow. Cool. And boom. Chamber of the gods. God of the night sky. I believe this might be one we don't have either. So that's very nice. Looks great. That's a great shot. Oh, for sure. All right, getting that out of the way. And last pack of the middle. Come on, come on. So the balance of the scales, I think, was our big hit of this box, uh, 100%. Uh, but it would be cool if we got one other thing that just kind of was unexpected and knocked our socks off. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm getting greedy. But uh, but yeah, I think you're normally, you know, two to three hits, major hits a box. That does include the blue one, though, so... There's a chance that we we hit the peak already of the box, but that's okay. Um, I'm still digging the card, so we're gonna obviously keep going. We gotta find out what's in these. So all right, we got Sand of Amit, perfect. Ethan, Conchie's head. I don't know if I showed. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, and oh, a Fist of Vengeance. Look at that uh, as a Sand parallel. Very very nice. Cool. I'll never, I mean, like I said, I was nitpicky earlier, but a shot of Conchu is a shot of Conchu, and he's he's awesome. He's a he's a very interesting character in the sense that you're just like, he's not really good or bad. He just has a mission, and he's devoted to it. Um, and unfortunately, uh, he's so devoted that it hurts the people that he uh, that are in his care. Um, Arthur Harrow being the first one that was affected negatively by Conchu, and then now Mark and Stephen, their lives were affected as well. So, although their lives were saved, but, you know, they came at a cost. And still is coming at a cost <laughs> with Jake. So, all right, we got Arthur there from the finale. Really great shot of him. Tal Wedit. Behind the scenes of Ethan as a sand parallel. We got Crowley again. I told you that image being used a couple times as a base card as well, apparently, too. Um, then we have Mr. Knight here. And boom, Chamber of the Gods. This is... Let me save us. Oh, wow. That's from the first episode. 
Yeah, so this image is, is actually used in the book, the Art of book too, uh, which is where all these come from. And that shot of Mark screaming, let me out um, to switch and Conchu holding him back. Are either that or that's Steven and he's already given the body to Mark and Conchu's holding him. You know, I don't know. It's I don't know which is who in this shot, but it's it's fantastic. Um, it's 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 very evocative. Like I can't not look at it. <laughs> it's like, uh, and I'm trying to study like every you know inch of it of uh, that. So when I was reading the art book, I just was like, just on that page for like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's like this is so good. This art is so amazing. Um, oh, there's something in here that doesn't line up with the the rest of the card. So could be a lunar maybe. We'll find out. I'll try not to spoil it um, with my stupid fat hands sometimes. Uh, all right, so we got shot of the goons of Arthur Harrow in the tomb. We have a behind the scenes of Cairo. Cool. Got a sand of Conchu. Got a shot of Mark. We got Ethan. And... Oh, a level three acetate antiquity of May. Oh, there's a little bit of damage. Unless that's intentional. No, it looks like some of the paint, you know, came off there. Just a little bit um, at the bottom. Yeah, there's just a little bit of damage. It's not the end of the world. I mean, I'm going to keep these anyway. Uh, so I doubt I'm going to resell this because now I think I have a level... One, two, three, and four between blue and I, I think we have one of each level. So we'll just take a couple different characters, you know, and make a set out of them. Uh, and then we'll, uh, you know, and then any extras will probably trade off or something. So this one we'll keep. It's May anyway, so I'd like to keep that just because she's amazing. And, uh, and I may have a giant crush on her. I don't know, possibly. Um, so yeah, really cool. I dig that. Level three. So good. That's That means we have one of each level now. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is actually a good hit, especially for our collecting purposes. So, um, all right. So on to the last three packs. And I think, like I said, I think those are our three big hits already. So we'll just try to blaze through these and take a look at any of the, uh, you know, the minor inserts that we're probably going to find in these ones. Uh, so the, we got uh, Ethan there. We got Conchu and Amit. Amit in the sand parallel. Ethan again. Um, Mark. Here we go. Or Stephen Grant. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Stephen. Forgot that's when he switched and was talking to Layla. And then, boom, give me the body mark as a sand parallel. So, I, like I said, I think that's one of the, maybe a new one we got in this box, the, the regular. And now we have the sand parallel to it. So, that's cool. I dig that. Um, all right. I still got to talk to Blue about, like, if we, if with the Fist of Vengeance and those, if he wants the sand parallels or if he wants to trade those off and just have a, a base set of those. I have to ask him what he would prefer. Um, so awesome! And once we do an inventory, and if anyone out there is looking for cards, we'll you know we'll be open to talk about that after we get through all of our boxes. Once we know everything we have, so um, if you want to leave a comment and say something for me to keep an eye out for or blue to keep an eye out for, let us know in the comments and we will. Um, so okay, so Cairo shot, Wendy and Elias, Chamber of the Gods of the Sand. We got the boat of Talwedit. We have uh, the, what's his name? Um, Shenfu? No, I can't remember his name. He was uh, he was like a, a, a priest or something that had the night map this with the stars. And that's where they go in episode, I think, three to get that. And oh, whoa, we got two blues in this box. But this is the midnight blue. There's a little bit of a ding. Crap, there's a little bit of a ding on the end there. That's a that's a shame, but it's a towel wet it. Midnight Blue, 41 out of 49. The ding isn't as visible on the back side, but it is a little bit on the front side. Just a bit. Maybe we can flatten that out. I don't know. Um, so for now, we're just going to put it here. But wow, I did not expect. Like I said, we got a sky blue in this box. I did, And a balance of the scales. Like what a crazy box this was. Um, that's, uh, that's awesome. I can't, I, yeah, I didn't see this one coming actually. That's great though. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll try to keep that. We, you know, if we can, if hopefully putting it in here flattens that out a little bit, 
we'll check on it and update y'all on the quality of it. Um, maybe if someone's out there making a midnight blue set, if they're missing that, maybe we can work out something with them. Um, even though it's not a perfect card, but it's still pretty good. As though the only blemish I saw was just that top corner. Um, all right, and last pack. I would say last pack magic, but we just got a midnight card in that last one. So I think I'm just happy if I see six cards in this pack and we weren't shorted any cards. So we got Ethan, we got Conchu, we got Moon Knight and Sand, Layla. And it was a Layla box because we had an antiquity with Layla in it. Antonia, beautiful, beautiful Antonia. And also this Fist of Vengeance with Amit and her avatar. So cool. All right. So this box had quite the co collection in it. Yeah. I, so I got uh, some of the, I just put the Fist of Vengeance there. But yeah, we got this Midnight Blue, which is astounding. Uh, I cannot believe we got that. And a Sky Blue on top of it. We got a Chamber of the Gods with the Sand Parallel. We got Layla's Acetate. We got another Chamber of the Gods. A Fist of Vengeance with the Sand Parallel. Chamber of the Gods. A Traveler of the Night with Crowley. More Fists of Vengeance. Look at that, man. We might actually have a whole collection of that now. Or close to it. Chamber of the Gods. Maybe the same thing with Chamber. Um, all right. So here's our light blue. Can you believe we got a light, a sky blue and a midnight blue and a balance the scales card. Numbered, not numbered though. Okay. So this one's not a number one, but still really cool. Um, and then, oh, another sand parallel with Layla. But yeah, so these are like our five kind of hits in a way. This one's a softer one than these ones, but still, it, it definitely belongs in this pile. Uh, this is fantastic. And I just realized the light is <laughs> probably preventing you from seeing a couple of these. So yeah, the midnight blue and the sky blue in a single box. Man, this should have been Blue's box, <laughs> but it will because it's all going to go in the same collection. But still, like, amazing. Uh, awesome, awesome. I'm really jazzed about this because this will probably, these are pretty rare. This will probably be the only balance of scale card we get out of all these boxes. And to get it with Moon Knight and Layla on it is a major, major hit for our collection because those are obviously two of the our favorite characters in the show. Um, the only thing that for me could have been better is if it was Mark and Conchu or, you know, Moon Knight and Conchu. Um, I think that would have been the only thing. I love Ethan too, obviously. Um, Ethan and Amit would be a good one too, but having these two is fantastic. So yeah, what do you think of this box? Let me know your thoughts down below. Obviously we'll keep talking down there, but this was totally a May Kalamawe box because we got really cool stuff with May on it, um, these two in particular. So I'm very happy. And uh, I'm gonna now go and try to do an inventory check and I'll leave some notes for Blue in case he wants to double check anything. But I wanna just see what we're missing now so that when we go into the collab videos that we're gonna be doing soon, we can let everyone know what we're looking for um, in those boxes. And then we'll also move through those boxes faster now that we've opened all these and seen most of the base cards. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching the show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And as always, we'll see you in the future. Peace.